There are only nine shopping days left until Christmas, and many parents are no doubt looking to buy their kids a big present. One such possibility, a hoverboard, something that is getting more and more popular. While they may be big sellers, there could be a downside to these two-wheeled cruisers. KTV's John Sasaki is here now with why there's growing concern surrounding hoverboards. John? You know, many kids might find a hoverboard under their tree on Christmas morning, but if you ask the experts, storing one next to a tree could be dangerous. There are few things like a big present, and this year this could be the big present that a lot of people get, a battery-powered hoverboard. But one current warning about them is unnerving. Store them away from combustibles so that if they do have a problem, that you have less of a likelihood of a fire spreading. Not the words you want to hear about the newest kids toy in your house. But then there have been numerous cases of hoverboards catching fire across the country. The Consumer Product Safety Commission is looking into the cause of these fires, but um, based on some of the preliminary reports that I've seen, it looks to be a lithium-ion battery problem. Right when she stood on it, it just started sparking up, making popping noises, and she kind of freaked out. That woman was talking about her sister's new hoverboard that caught fire as she tried to use it. So she started driving it towards the front door, trying to get it outside, but before she was able to get it to the front door, it... It almost exploded in her hands. A quick search of YouTube turns up numerous cases of hoverboards catching fire, so many that Amazon has actually pulled most of the boards from its website. That's where Aaliyah Denny and her family got their two new hoverboards. We're going to try and um, contact Amazon, try and tell them, like, okay, this is not safe. Like, this nearly burnt our house down. And then hopefully get our money back from this because we've only had them for a week. Contra Costa County Fire Marshal Robert Marshall says there have been fires with other products that use lithium-ion batteries, including laptops. If you are charging something that has a lithium-ion battery, you should probably be in the room with it because there is enough of a problem with it that, uh, that it can be problematic. And if you're there when the fire starts, then it's less likely to do as much damage. And if you recall, the 787 Dreamliner passenger jet had similar problems with lithium-ion batteries. Also, now our airlines have banned the hoverboards in passengers' checked and carry-on luggage. I'm John Sasaki, KTV, Fox 2 News.